Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem here, which is 1 plus root 17 divided by 2 raised to the power of 6. Now let's provide a solution from here. Now, we can let x to be equal to 1 plus root 17 divided by 2. So this implies that here, the question is, what is x to the power of 6? Now, we have that x is equal to 1 plus root 17 over 2. Now, let's call this equation 1. Let's multiply both sides by 2 from here. So that now, here we have 2x. This is equal to 1 plus root 17. Let's take one on the left hand side so that we have 2x minus 1. This is equal to root 17. Now let's square on both sides from here so that now 2x minus 1 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have 4x squared plus 1, then subtract 4x, this is equal to, now, root 17 is the power of 2, this means we eliminate the square root sign here, so we have 17. The next step is, let's take plus 1 minus 4x on the right hand side, so that now we have 4x to the power of 2, this is equal to 17, minus 1, then plus 4x. So this implies that here we have 4x squared, then we have 17 minus 1, this is equal to 16, minus, this is 16 plus 4x. Now, we can write this as 4x squared, this is equal to 4x plus 16. Now, since 4 is common here, we can factor out 4, so that we have 4x squared, this is equal to, now here we have 4 into the parentheses, this is x plus 4. Now, let's simplify this 4 and 4 here. So that we have x squared, this is equal to x plus 4. Let's call this equation 2. Now we have x squared is equal to x plus 4. This is equation 2. Remember we are solving for the value of x to the power of 6. Now, let's square again on both sides here. So we have x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to x plus 4 raised to the power of 2. Now, x to the power of 2 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. And we have that x plus 4 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b, raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So, applying this these two properties here, we have x to the power of 4, this is equal to, now, this is x squared, plus, we have 8x, then plus 4 squared, which is 16. We have x squared here, and x squared is equation 2, which is x plus 4. So let's substitute this. So we have x to the power of 4. This is equal to x plus 4 plus 8x plus 16. So this implies that x to the power of 4, this is equal to x plus 8x, this is 9x, then plus 4 plus 16, this is equal to 20. Now, the next step from here, let's multiply x to the power of 4 multiplying by x to the power of 2, this is equal to 9x 
plus 20 everything here also multiplying by x to the power of 2. So this implies that x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2. Now x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. So this is x to the power of 4, this is 4 plus 2, and this is x to the power of 6. This is equal to 9x plus 20 multiplied by x squared. x squared is x plus 4. So this implies that x to the power of 6, this is equal to 9x multiplied by x plus 4, then plus 20 multiplied by x plus 4. So this implies we have x to the power of 6, this is equal to 9x times x, this is 9x to the power of 2, then plus 9x times 4, this is 36x, then plus 20 times x, this is 20x, then plus 20 times 4, this is equal to 80. Now, the next step from here, we have x to the power of 6, this is equal to 9, multiplied by x squared. x squared is equation 2, which is x plus 4 then plus 36x, then plus 20x, then plus 80. Now, let's open the parentheses here. Now, let's open the parentheses here. We have this as 9 times x. This is 9x, then plus 9 times 4. This is 36, then plus 36x, then plus 20x, then plus 80. Now, the next step from here, we have that this is 9x plus 36x plus 20x here. This is equal to 65x, then plus 36 plus 80, and this is equal to 116. So x to the power of 6 here, this is equal to 65x plus 116. Now, given that x is equal, now we have x to the power of 6, this is equal to 65x plus 116. Now, if you recall, we have that x, we have seen that let x be equal to 1 plus root 17 divided by 2. So, let's substitute this here, so that we have x to the power of 6, this is equal to 65 multiplying by 1 plus square root of 17 divided by 2 plus 116. Now, the next step from here, let's open the parentheses here. We have x to the power of 6. This is equal to 65 times 1. This is 65 plus 65 times square root of 17. This is 65 square root of 17 everything here divided by 2 then plus 116 now 116 is our number so this is over 1 so we have that x to the power of 6 this is equal to we have the lcm here which is equal to 2 2 divided by 2 here this is 1 1 times 65 plus 65 through 17 this is the same thing as 65 plus 65 square root of 17 then plus 2 defined by 1 is 2. Then we have 2 times 116. We have 2 times 116. And this is actually equal to 232. So this means that x to the power of 6, this is equal to 65 plus 2, that's 2. And this is equal to 297. Then plus 65 multiplied by square root of 17 everything here divided by 2 now we have x to the power of 6 this is equal to now we have 297 plus 65 multiplied by square root of 17 square root of 17 this is 4.1231 everything here divided by 2 now 
This implies that here we have 297 plus 65 times 4.1231. This is the same thing as 268.0015. Everything here divided by 2. Now, the next step is that we have x to the power of 6. This is equal to 297 plus 268.0015. And this is equal to 565.0015. Everything here divided by 2. And this is equal to 282.5. 0075. Now, if you recall, x here is the same thing as 1 plus square root of 17 divided by 2. Now, this raised to the power of 6, this is equal to 282.50075. And this is the solution to this math problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.